going to take you through a couple of steps on how we work with envelope automation in the arrangement view, which you see here in front of you. So we'll be working in the linear timeline approach here. Again, in Ableton Live 7. So a couple of things about working with envelope automation for each track. You can see I already have some set up here. You can see the different automation breakpoints happening here on track one. If you go over to the right, you see that I've got my chooser window set up to the mixer parameter. And then down below that in our sub chooser, I've got a choice of different parameters to call up. In this case, I've got volume. I've also got panning. Okay, you can see I've duplicated that clip automation data to panning as well for this particular demo. So let's go back to volume. And I want to go ahead and clear out the automation that I've got set up here within this loop brace here, which is four bars from bar three to bar seven. So I'll just highlight it and I will right click and I'll go down to this second area right in the middle of our contextual menu here. And you can see I've got a couple of different parameters here to choose from. Let's close this up for a second and let me show you what happens when we go down to say track three and I right click down in this area. You can see when I click directly on the waveform data, but the envelope parameters are not there. Keep in mind that they do exist. You just got to hunt around just a little bit to find them. So again, I'm clicking, not there, highlight, right click, and there they are. So I'll just say cut envelope. There we go. So we can get our pencil tool. Pretty self-explanatory here. We can draw in our envelope automation for volume, right? Pretty uh, cut and dry way to do that. But we can also, if we undo that, copy envelope information from other tracks directly on to track one. How do we do that? Let's go ahead and highlight this clip envelope automation data down here on track two. I'll go down, right click, copy envelope. Now I'll go back up to track one and I'll go ahead and set my edit point exactly where I want that to be pasted in and I'll simply paste it right in. Go over here to panning, clear this information out, cut envelope, do the same thing. Now what if I want to record some envelope automation? Actually, I want to input that from one of my controllers. Well, we can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this area on track one, right click again, delete envelope, no problem. And remember we had some on volume as well. You can see we've got the, the red highlight box there showing that we do have some type of envelope automation happening on that particular parameter in that chooser box. So we'll hit track volume. We'll go ahead and delete envelope. Now on track one, if we play it, we'll go ahead and solo it. All right. Sounds good. So we're going to let that play for four bars. I want to go down to one of my returns. If I double click down here on return C, which says auto filter. See, I've got a custom setup here that I've just been working with a little bit. Auto filter chained up with the compressor in line here. But I want to show you how we can enter in, in real time, envelope information from a controller. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, Kenton Kilomix mini controller. And uh, I'm going to enter in some auto filter envelope automation. Let's go ahead and go to the chooser window and our auto filter track. I'm going to auto filter. And immediately it brings up the sub chooser windows. It shows all the different parameters inside the auto filter plugin itself, in this case frequency, and I've already got some there. So again, let's highlight that information on the auto filter track on return C, right click, delete envelope, perfect. So now if I go over to my controller knob here on the Kilomix, you can see as I turn it, I'm adjusting that frequency. All right, we'll make sure that everything's on on the auto filter track. I'm going to go ahead and mute the other audio tracks as well. So now I've only got information coming from audio track one out of send C or number three into return C, which is my auto filter track. I can do a double check on that as well. Go back up to track one, click on the mixer chooser window, go
go to my sub chooser, go to send C auto filter. Perfect. And I've got that ramped up right about there. So that's going to send a constant signal out of track one's send C into the return of send C, which is the auto filter. Let's go down to the chooser window, go to auto filter, go to frequency, punch ourselves in. Now you can see that as I'm turning the knob, punch ourselves out, entering that information in real time. So the other thing I want to show you is now that I've got this information here on the auto filter return track, I'll highlight it, right click, copy envelope as opposed to just the regular copy parameter. Now I'll go back up to track one, go to mixer, go to volume, go ahead and select a point I want to paste that in. Go ahead, Apple V. And now I've taken that auto filter frequency envelope information and I pasted that in as just regular track volume information on track one. Let's play it and see what happens. And again, I can do that with other parameters as well. Panning. So a really cool, fun way to work here on the Arrangement page in Live 7, working with envelope automation and cutting and pasting it with these unique contextual menu windows. And that's a look at envelope automation inside the Arrange page in Live 7. <laughs>